okay now today what we'll be talking about is the contacts right now what are contacts so let's just define what are contacts let's say you are a business that wants to target 10,000 people now these 10,000 people are basically users or leads that you get from some source these 10,000 people have their WhatsApp numbers with you and now your use case is to send out a broadcast maybe for a commercial aspect or maybe for a marketing aspect right to these 10,000 numbers how do you go ahead with it so the first step becomes adding these contacts on the platform and that's what the contact list helps you with how you can reach to the first step of uploading a contact list is opening up the bot going on the users tab over here just right below the broadcast tab which is the users tab over here and going to the contact section the very important thing to understand here is this will not be visible until in the configure tab deployment section you have the whatsapp channel deployed if the channel is not deployed you'll hover over it and you'll see a connect button but if it is deployed you'll see an edit settings button right so once you have your bot deployed on whatsapp then and then only if you come to the users tab you'll find the contact section available right now in contact section how do you go ahead and add this number so the first thing that you'll have to do is click on import contact list it will give you a pop-up like this now in this pop-up what you'll have to firstly do is download a sample file we provide you an excel sx format as well as a csv format for you to download let's say i download the excel format the moment you click on it, it will start a download on your end and once you've downloaded it you can then go ahead and open it in some editing software for now i'm using google sheets let me just go ahead and upload the sample file that i just downloaded right i'll just go ahead replace this and import the data right so this is the sample contact list that we give now in this contact list this is exactly where you will be putting up the numbers the leads that you have and then uploading it back on the platform so let's just first talk about what do you put in the contact list there are few things that we'll have to understand the very first being that this entire first column is what we'll refer to as the header column now the header columns are a necessity to be there now, if i am a person who wants to edit out a particular contact list to update the numbers of the leads that i have what i can do is go ahead and remove the data like this not the header columns we'll keep the header columns as it is now in these header columns the very first header column that you see is phone underscore number what I want you to understand is this is the primary key or basically the most important column of a contact list. This cannot go empty. There has to be a data in phone underscore number. I can go ahead and I can put that data. Let's say I put my number for example. Right. All I'm saying is when you put up your number over here, it goes like this. In case if you have your leads first name last name maybe a username or a city you can put that over here but why would you put these details how is it gonna be useful now let's just redefine the use case again with a bit more additional details onto it you are a business who wants to do a marketing campaign let's say you are a shopping store who wants to do a marketing campaign in order to tell the users that hey we have opened up a new store in your new in your city right so how do you do that now in this entire use case you might be saying that hi that person's name let's say xyz so you'll say hi xyz we have just opened a new branch of our shopping store in your city let's say abc right and then you put it up and send the template now you do understand that the city detail as well as the name of the person might vary and might change so how do you actually go ahead with it is you put up these details in the contact list right again you can add on your own header columns over here let's say your use case is something like last underscore name 
you require this name to be dynamically fetched and then showed for the end user you can add this column over here for now i'll just remove it right now and be back to the initial use case which is first name and city only so let's say i put something like anmol i put something like raj i put something like bengaluru right all i'm saying is whatever phone number you put up over here doesn't need to have this it can be a completely empty detailed row the only necessary or the compulsory column would be your phone underscore number you have to have a number for this to be created as a contact the other doubt that you might now have is do i put this number with the country code or without the country code which is a very valid question now on the platform if i go back and click on import contact list the very first option that we give is a radio button to choose from which asks if the contact list you're trying to upload is a single country contact list or a multiple countries contact list let's say you're only doing a broadcast in a country which is fixed so you know that you're doing a broadcast either in india or in dubai so you know which exact country you're doing the broadcast in that scenario we give you a drop down to choose for the country right let's say i choose this one country when are you when you're doing the single country broadcast you don't exactly need to put the country code so i can skip the country code and i can just put my 10 digit phone number over here or whatever the number of digits would be for you in that case without the country code in the contact list but the moment i'm doing a multiple countries broadcast means i know that i'll be having this contact list with numbers from dubai as well as india as well as china or maybe multiple other countries what you can go ahead and do is then on the contact list apart from your phone number you can also add your country code right now the country code goes without any plus sign it also goes without any zeros or double zeros as such let me just go ahead and change this so that there is no confusion right so all i'm saying is this country code doesn't go without i mean this country code goes without any plus without a zero oh, let me go back over here without a zero or a double zero it just has to be the country code in my case it will be nine one followed by the 10 digit number that i want to put right so once i've put up the phone underscore number which is according to the use case again there should not be any spaces as such separating this was just to show your demonstration please make sure that there is no spaces in between the numbers as well right this is how you'll put up the number you can choose to include the country code you can choose not to have the country code now if in a single country list also you have uploaded the country code it would not give you an error and you'll still be able to put this contact list on the platform once you have done the changes on your contact list this is just one thing that i've added i can then go ahead add other numbers let's say i add this another number i as i mentioned i can choose to have this entire row empty now what happens if i put up a duplicate number let's say i take the same number all together again and i put this number over here with some other details i call it j i call it uh, another city right would it create another contra uh, contact the point is no on the platform we don't have duplication data allowed so when you're uploading a contact list what we check for as a unique value is the phone underscore number the moment the system encounters this number first it creates a unique contact in the same contact list right not in a different contact list but in the same contact list if this number is again fetched by the system it does not run it through to make another contact it ignores this entire row so when i upload this file with two exactly same numbers you would find that this file would only have two contacts and not three contacts the sole reason being that these two numbers out of these three numbers these two numbers are the only unique numbers whereas this is a duplication of this number so i'll just go ahead and upload this contact list on the system in a second and for downloading what i can do is go on file download i'll again download it in excel format since we support excel and csv both you can put it up in csv as well now i can go up click on browse it'll open the system pop-up for me 
I'll choose the one file that I just downloaded. Click on open. It'll bring this up over here. Now on the platform, what would you want this list to be? This is just for your reference so you can name it whatever way you like so that you know for reference which contact list is this. I'll just go ahead and name it training underscore list one and I'll just save this out. Now it will say file upload in progress. We'll just go ahead and refresh the entire page once. Now you might see in the import history this total records 999 and the error count being 997. The whole reason is that the sheet that I just uploaded has the phone number only in the first three columns whereas the sheet that I have uploaded has like a thousand rows. So please don't worry about this error. This is nothing but the empty row count over there. What you should focus on is back on the contact list screens. Your contact list is uploaded with the name that you put on with the contacts that you put. Now, as I mentioned, since there are two same numbers, it only takes two contacts and not three contacts. So we'll show you how many number of unique contacts we have created. This is the number of unique contacts rather than the total number of contacts that you had in the contact list. Right. And as I mentioned, whatever data you put in these other columns, such as first underscore name, last underscore name and all those other things can be fetched for this number in the template. Let's say if it is a variable or a dynamically fetched value. So this data is something that you fill in order to fetch it while sending the template for the broadcast. When you want to make a dynamically fetched value for the end user. And that's how you upload a contact list on the platform. Thank you.